guys and welcome to Squid Gaming. Now it's episode two of Ask Lydia. Way yeah. First question. Sir Malt Poms asks, which was your first first console? And which game touched you the most emotionally? So my first first console would have been the SNES back when I was around Ooh, five? Yeah, that's a good 20 years ago now. And I used to play the heck out of Street Fighter 2 on that bad boy. As, as to which game touched me emotionally. Okay, you know when you think about something that's really sad that you've played or read or seen and it actually hurts your heart a bit inside? Final Fantasy VII, the obvious, depressing, heartbreaking scene. The one where that girl gets stabbed. Yeah, that. Uh, when I think about that, Oh god! And also Final Fantasy IX, I'm not going to say any spoilers because what I'm referring to is at the very end, but people who have played the game, if you know what I'm talking about, at the very end you find out about a certain character and I swear to god, even thinking about it makes my eyes a bit watery. Alexis Trusts asks, Lydia, if you could make a game, what kind of game would it be and what would it be about? So if I were to make a game, I would do a open world London Victorian Jack the Ripper horror thriller style shenanigan. I think that would be amazing. Someone's definitely going to tell me that, that game already exists, but kind of imagine Assassin's Creed but in London. Yeah, lots of murder. We've got to have some murder. Maybe some dogs as well. Murderous dogs? Okay, so turning to my last Ask Lydia video, I am looking at the questions from that. So first one is from Trencher1375. Turn-based or real-time? Ooh, I am gonna go with turn-based. I like plotting my strategy and real-time can get a bit hectic and a bit flustered. So yeah, I like, I like turn-based. Okay, so Van Baranko says, if you're able to date one male video game character, who would it be? Well, what a question, am I right? Who would be a good man? Okay, I'm gonna go with Mario. I'm going with Mario because A, he's got a reliable job, you know, he's a plumber. It's a well-paid job and it's a, an important role in this society. And also, you know, if anything was gonna happen to you, he can't come get you, you know? You can depend on him. I mean, okay, he's not gonna stop it from happening over and over and over bloody again, and he'll probably go to the wrong castle like 10 times before he actually finds you, but, He's gonna come and get you. And if all else fails, you know, he's got a hot brother, you know? You know. Okay, Landon accordingly. Lydia, I have a question. How drunk were you when you shot this? <laughs> you sound ready to party. I was off my face. No, not really. I just, I've got to the point now on YouTube after making videos for a few years that when I first made them, I was really like, you know, quiet and acting a certain way and now I'm just like ah, no ah, no so I act a bit you know my natural self which is a bit weird and a bit drunk my natural self is drunk because I'm usually drinking so the answer to your question is three bowls of wine okay next question and last question it's from six bit brothers who are cool you should check them out on YouTube they say do you have a hidden gem game suggestion that maybe not many people will know about and they want to know about because it's awesome one game although it's pretty probably well known it's not well known enough and that is Ghost Trick for the DS. It is so good. The gaming mechanics and the gameplay is just really clever. The characters are hilarious. If you like Phoenix Wright then you will love Ghost Trick and if you don't like Phoenix Wright then what's wrong with you? What is wrong with your brain? But yeah so go play Ghost Trick because it's just really really damn good. Okay guys, um, again I'm sorry if I didn't answer your questions. I didn't go to Twitter this time because my iPad didn't want me to. I will make sure my iPad is ready next time and I will hit Twitter. Hit it with a stick! So don't forget to ask me more questions. Remember, it doesn't have to be gaming related. It could be anything. Anything you might find interesting about me. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care, play lots and have fun.